Hi guys, I just finished having this awesome birthday party for my son. He just turned six years old and their dad is helping them assemble one of the gifts that they received. And I'm taking a little time to share with you about something that's been on my mind that I want to share about having to do with kids feelings and how we can help them to process their feelings better. The, one of the first books that I heard recommended that my kids really enjoyed reading about feelings is this one. What am I feeling? I love the pictures, super cute, and the way everything is expressed is so easy for kids to understand. It shares little details that kids enjoy and can relate with, but mostly it helps kids to be aware of their feelings and it helps them to learn to identify what feeling they're having. It also teaches them to include God in the process. So they pray and they ask God for help about what they're feeling. And it's in a really simple way that a child can um, repeat it in their own life. And this book had a feelings chart attached here. It's like a poster. We um, took it out of the book and I had taped it on like a little corner um, and so it's gotten like <laughs> kind of tattered. I was thinking about making that poster actually into like smaller um, like cards and I could just laminate each feeling and just so that kids can like really memorize, my kids can memorize like the different feelings and maybe that can help them because feelings are really hard for kids and I mean it's hard for us as adults so it's kind of like we're all learning to deal with our feelings productively in our home so um, I think it's a really important skill that we need to learn especially in marriage and you know in the workforce and all of that really um, even like with ourselves because it's not healthy. Sometimes the, if we don't process our feelings the right way, we can actually like develop low self-esteem and we can say mean things about ourselves. And um, so anyway, that book was a really nice place to start. But I'm not sure where, I think I heard another homeschooling mom a long time ago, um, but, I, I got this idea from somewhere and I want to show you how it works. Lately, you know, sometimes kids can just get into this place where they're just so like overwhelmed by their feeling, whatever they're feeling at that moment, it's almost like they don't want to talk about it, you know? It's almost like they just want to experience the feeling you know, um, until it goes to like a 10. Um, and of course, those are things that even us as adults, we have to learn to manage them, right? But I can imagine it's harder for kids. So one thing that I have found more helpful than maybe like trying to talk to my child in that moment that they're having is, is to tell them um, that they should go to their room and maybe draw what they're feeling and you know my kids love to draw and color for fun 
and so it seems like they're really good at this and it's i wanted to show you some pictures um so there was one time that i asked my daughter to uh, because she was um not too happy that she was going to have to wait a couple of days to get the the thing that amazon got wrong um, we had ordered a desk chair for her and um so we had to return it and wait two days and so i asked her well because she was really bothered by it that she had to wait and i asked her why don't you draw a picture of a little girl that's not going to be receiving a new chair in two days and maybe that little girl doesn't even have a desk or anything she's not going to get anything you know because she doesn't have money for that i just tried to get her to <laughs> think um, from a different perspective and this is what she drew you know the little girl that would be sad and then there was another um let's see what is this oh yeah this one goes with that one <laughs> so here this is her um she was thinking that she wanted the pink chair um, but they sent a, a blue one instead, a teal one. <laughs> and it's really cute how she... I, I mean, first of all, look at how cute those toes are. <laughs> and her little arms are crossed. But look at her, the facial expressions. Isn't that amazing? Even the eyebrows. <laughs> it's so cute. These are my favorite, actually, because... They have a story and it's just so cute to see. It gives you a glimpse of what your child is feeling on the inside. Um, one of these is um, just she drew how she felt. I think she felt jealous in this one. So these pictures, so what ends up happening is that um, for example, my daughter will come in the room and as she's drawing, she's she's finishing getting those those tears out, those that those feelings. So she's getting it out, she's putting it on the paper. She comes calmer, she hands me this and she explains it to me. She tells me, you know, this is me jealous. Um but, you know, it, it has helped that we have discussed the different kinds of feelings that someone can have. Um, this one, uh, let's see. This one was more recent. I forgot the reason, but I just thought, oh my goodness, like, again, you know, the sad face and the eyes just say it all. And apparently, I think it was because like she wanted to play and someone was saying no that I think it was that they, she couldn't play the way she wanted to or something like that. But this was the most recent one. But it's, I'm, I'm just always so proud of the way that she is able to process her feelings in this way. Okay. My focus has been more on my daughter, but apparently my son has been listening to what me and my daughter have been doing these last weeks or months. And the other day, um, I, um, I think my son wanted to do something, but, um, for whatever reason I said no and so he just he he just wasn't going along with what I was telling him we needed to do and you know I with him I'll just suggest like maybe you want to go cool down in your room so, sounds like you need to cool down in your room and it was really interesting that after a little bit of time of him crying 
he came out and I, I just kind of heard him like just go to the next rooms, started playing, came back to the living room and kind of, and I just kind of told him, you know, like, this is how, you know, when you did that, it made me feel this way, you know, maybe this should be the better thing to do, you know, in that situation. But the most interesting thing was later on, I, I glanced at his desk and I noticed that there was a paper on his desk and apparently when he had gone in there and he had like self-sued quicker than other times, guess what he did? He did a picture where he um, like analyzed his feelings and this is his first one as far as I'm aware. This is what he drew and he loves to attempt to spell things. So here he has like four, four different faces and feelings. And so here, this one is mad. Um, this one, the biggest one seems is sad. This one is frustrated. Can you see how he tried to spell frustrated? Oh my gosh, he's so ready to learn to spell. So cute. And the other one doesn't really say, but it's amazing how it's almost like they transfer their feelings to this paper or like it, it gives them more peace to be aware of the feeling that they're having. And I know that's the case for me as an adult too. For example, when I have feelings of anxiety and if I don't think about what's going on, then it just continues. But if I tell myself, hey, I'm having a moment of stress, anxiety because of this, and it just helps my brain to like calm down or when I'm sad you know, going from sadness to anger, it's an easy trip there. So like, I noticed that it's for me, like when I'm sad, I, I tell myself I'm sad and this is why and this shouldn't have happened and you know, just let the feelings pass, you know, pretty much. And um, ask God for help also, of course, in all of those situations. So anyway, I thought I would share this with you in case you would like to try it. Uh, yeah, it's it's something that I'm I'm finding so fruitful in my own uh, family, and I think it's gonna be a good thing in the long run with my kids. It's it's being more effective than even like for example like time out sometimes. I haven't. I feel like this has been more effective than like just day and time out for five minutes you know so you know what i'm like still like trying different things out but we'll see for now this is working so now my kids need me again i'll talk to you on the next video guys bye mm -hmm.